Hey guys, it's Delval, and we are going to be going for another achievement in Immortal Unchained. Rot. And this time, we'll be showing you how to get the face, Lost Memories achievement. Now, in order to get a Lost Memories Delve achievement, you guess that you've got to complete the, the Lost Memories questline within the game. Now, in order to start this questline, you will need to visit Arden on your way to connect the first Nexus. Very first obelisk you find after 10 seconds of Ent Arden, you'll find Bren sitting next to it. Exhaust all of her dialogue options, and then she will move to the Grand Hall, just to the left of the stairs, and you can talk to her further there. But in order to expand her dialogue options, you need to find three items. These three items are found scattered between each of the three worlds, and I'll show you how Never to get each of them return, now. Not in this life, nor the next. So the first item is called Amon's Feather, which is found by the Citadel Gates obelisk on Apexion, just around the corner from the Soothsayer slash Nexus. The second item that you can get is a charred locket, which you can find in the Cinder Woods next to the Rune Temples obelisk. And the third and final item is an item called Kale's Knife, which you find in Arden, next to the Courtyard Obelisk. Now, once you have all three items, go to the Grand Hall, go to the left of the stairs and you'll find Bren. And at this point, it's just the going through all the dialogue options with her. Now the dialogue options can expand depending on how well you've did with other quests. So in this one, uh, she's going to cover the quest for having Narrow there. And if you don't talk to her beforehand, she will also cover if you have Golan there and for having... Odin. And I will make a disclaimer now. For those uh, three items I showed you, if you provide any of them to her, or I'll specify if you give her Amon's Feather uh, before the Nexus Ambush or the Monolith Ambush, which is what, when the undead attack the Monolith slash Great Hall after you connect all three of the Nexus to it, uh, if you provide Amon's Feather before that fight takes place, then the questline will bug and the achievement will become void. Now, I recommend to pick up that feather as soon as possible and just wait until that fight is over. The other two items you can't get until after that fight, so they're not really of any concern. Once you get those items, bring them to her. Just exhaust her dialogue options. She'll ask to see each of the three items. Give her them, say yes, and she'll give you a bit more of a background. Now, depending on which item you provide to her, she will give you a reward. Now, you will get, originally, the Prison Depths Key, which at the end of the video we will show you where to use it. You will then also be given 17,000 bits uh, for the second item. And the third item that you give her, she will provide to you a Manhunter submachine gun, which will be of green quality, and it will be of superb uh, upgrade. I don't, I don't know what they really call that, I'll be honest with you. It'll be of superb upgrade. After you exhausted all the dialogue options with her, she'll actually move from the Grand Hall to the Rune Temples Obelisk where you got the charred pen, and you can talk to her again there. Show that in the video here as well. Once we get to that moment, I will chip in again. You have my gratitude. Allow me to give you this in return. Only a select few humans were granted ascension. The Prime valued honour and strength above all else, and the humans valued the Prime as greatly. It was a grand thing to live among them. But then, disgrace, cast out, forever falling. My heart is heavy, my soul still burdened. I may be clear of the pit, but the darkness has not left me. Being here now, left to think of how far I have fallen. I had hoped there would be more than this misery. There is no escaping misery. It reaches out even now. How can it not? The end times are upon us. There is no stopping what must happen. That crystal blade you hold, it is known as Kale's knife. 
pray consider giving it to me. I know this blade. He kept it at his side, always. I assume you found it on one of them. I understand. I expected this. How could I not? Thank you. I... Here, take this. It was said the knife reminded him of his father. Over the years, he shaped the crystal. At last, he managed to weld it together with a knife, attempting to use it to escape. Looking back now, it was foolish to think there was any escape. Yet, I was able to get out. I still hear the screams. I never stop. I couldn't. It haunts me. Even now, where does it all go? Once an honored soldier, an innocent girl, then a dissenter, a traitor. How quickly things change. Love brings out the irrational. As the fires seethe, the true fall came. Jealousy, bitterness, all of it fueled the madness. The end times could not come sooner. I have had enough. What place is there for someone like me? So after he's also his dialogues, she'll then move to this location by the obelisk and Cinderwood. There is no future. She has next the to the nothing end, to say. Amidst the past. But Ashes after you exhaust her like two or three lines of dialogue, the achievement will pop. There is nothing left now. Now in regards to the prison depths key, you'll want to go to the prison obelisk just around the corner from the courtyard one on Arden. And this will cause the bridge to extend. Now, once you get the chest, you can't get back across the bridge, so be careful. Now, hopefully this helped. Remember to like and share with your friend if it did. Bye.